praise the Lord. This is one part of the ministry I don't like to do. I don't like to do this, especially publicly. But I will do it because I'm a messenger. And just like Jonah, when God sent him to Nineveh, Jonah hesitated to go to Nineveh because Jonah was a minor prophet and he was worried that if he had gone to Nineveh straight ahead and delivered the message, the people will pray and they will repent and God will not bring judgment upon them. And Jonah didn't want that. Being a minor prophet, he was. A minor prophet means that he wrote few books. Major prophets are the ones that wrote major books, many books. So he didn't want to go. You can't run away from God's presence. In 2018, God gave me similar revelation I'm about to say, but uh, I was worried and scared to go public. Then in 2019, he asked me to stop the ministry we, we had then because he said in 2020, people will stop gathering together based on what will happen in 2020. And I have to go and ask for prayers. So if you go to my YouTube channel, in 2019, December 29th, I believe, or 30th, I made that request for prayer for the soul of America because of what will happen in 2020. But this time around, he says what will happen in 2020 will be a global war without a bullet. I was... I didn't understand that. But as a messenger, I passed the message, hashtag 60 seconds prayer for the soul of United States. But this time around, the Lord is saying, pray for the world because a war is coming with a rocket. Not in 2023. Fear not. There will be rumors. But in 2024 to 2025, it will start in 2024 up to 2025 there will be a global war with rockets and this global war the weaker nations will gang up together to disgrace the stronger nations i repeat the weaker nations will gather together and they will disgrace the stronger nations we have to pray it's, it must happen but we have to pray not to that extent it will happen. Glory be. Hello, my name is Sahenbi Ezebira, an evangelist. Today is the 25th day of December 2019, a beautiful day of the Lord that He has made. And Christians all over the world are celebrating Christmas, Christ with the masses. And a few days from now, we will be celebrating a beautiful landmark of achievements another decade, 2020. You will be receiving messages from friends and well wishers, wishing you a happy new year. Now the question comes, is there anything new about the year? Maybe there is, perhaps there is nothing new about the year. I strongly believe that the only thing new about the year is you. Your attitude is what makes a difference. Take for instance, it's still the same 12 calendar months, January to December. But your attitude, the attitude you put up in the new year, is what defines it for you. So that's why I'm asking every believer, every tongue-speaking Christian, to rise up on the 28th of December, 2019, and commit the soul of this nation we love, United States of America, unto the Most High God. 30 seconds of your time is all we need. Not a minute. Not a day, 30 seconds. Let us declare this nation for Christ. Let us rise up against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness. The Bible says in Matthew 11, 12, on the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and only the violent shall take it by force. There's one thing the Bible tells me in Isaiah. He says, even though the enemy will come like a flood, but he will set up a standard against it. Dearly beloved, God cannot set a standard until we speak. That's why I'm imploring you, irrespective of your political affiliation, irrespective of your sexual orientation, 
your beliefs or whatever you may call it or deem it to be. Put that aside and let us pray for this nation. Pray for the president, pray for the vice, pray for the congress, pray for the speaker, pray for the leaders, pray for the governors, pray for the city council leaders. All of them must be prayed. This nation, America, is for Christ. Come 2020, the next, the beginning of the next decade, no weapon of the enemy against this nation will prevail. The church must rise up. The Bible says, and the, and the nation will rest on its shoulder. The church must rise up. Let the nations rest on the shoulder of the church. God bless you. Until we meet again, I remain your brother in Christ. Hello, my name is...